Welcome back fuckers. Righto, we're gonna go through today how to do a uh, a late activation spawn of uh, units using a trigger. Okay, so I'm gonna use a trigger with the uh, part of coalition in trigger zone command. So we've got ourselves a uh, AI F16. We're gonna be using him as our trigger to uh, make said things happen. All right, and just for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just gonna spawn in a, let's go, flight of four. And we're gonna make them spawn in. Okay, so they're on late activation, so they're not gonna start when the mission is started. They're gonna activate at some point later on down the track. All right, and we need to use a trigger to do that. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna come over to, where is it? That one there. Great trigger zone. Okay, we're gonna put the trigger in and we're gonna call it, uh, let's call it F16, come on, F16, flight, spawn. All right, you can call this whatever the hell you want. I'm gonna increase the size of the trigger, all right, and we're gonna put it right there. I'm gonna call this group here F16, spawn. Copy it, and I'm gonna paste the same name into there. Beautiful. All right, so now we're gonna quickly go through how to make said trigger work. So you're gonna come over to your trigger action, rules for trigger, new trigger, and you're gonna call it. So with your triggers, I always uh, like to write in capitals. I don't know why, this helps me. And we're gonna call it F16 spawn. Then we're gonna go new and we want to find part of coalition in zone. Part of coalition in zone, that's what we want. Coalition we want is blue and zone is F16 flight spawn. Now we just lost all that because I didn't save it. God damn it. Uh, it is an annoying thing with the mission editor right now. So again, part of coalition in zone, blue, and zone is the name of the trigger. So we call it F-16 flight spawn. So zone is the trigger, okay? Whatever you call the trigger. So that's why it's important to name your triggers appropriately so that you know what the hell each trigger does. And then you've got some unit types here. This is a new thing. Um, Intermission editor never used to be in there, but it is now. So you can, uh, you can make it so that uh, only an aircraft will fire the trigger or an helicopter will fire the trigger a naval unit will fire the trigger or a ground unit will fire the trigger so if you want it to be uh only an aircraft will uh cause this trigger to go off select airplane helicopter naval or ground whatever you want we're gonna leave it on all because we just want it to fire now what we want to do because we've uh said our f-16s were on late activation okay we can come down we're gonna go to group activate because we want to activate the group because they're on late activation and our group is called F-16 spawn, as we called it before, okay? And then that is that. So what we've done effectively, we've made a trigger called F-16 spawn, so we know what it means, we know what it is, and the conditions of this trigger are when part of the blue coalition goes into zone F-16 flight spawn, it is going to activate F-16 spawn group, okay? So we've got F-16 flight spawn, got F-16 spawn group on late activate, and then we've got uh, a trigger so that as soon as a blue coalition gets inside of this trigger zone, it's going to deploy, it's going to activate this group right now. And we're going to do that right now. Let's uh, zoom in a bit. Let's see how four mile it shouldn't be too far. All right, so let's do that. Make sure it all worked. Start. So we're not flying. We're just going to be looking on F10 view, so we can see that it actually fired. All right, so fly. There is our F16 doing his thing. All right, so as soon as he, we can't see the trigger here, the trigger's in the mission editor. We can't see it on the map. As soon as he gets into that trigger zone, our F16 group is going to spawn in and start flying across, like we said before. So yeah, F-16 is just flying his uh, his waypoint that we've set. He's flying into the trigger zone as we speak. As soon as he enters that trigger zone, 
our F-16 group will spawn. Should be any minute now. Come on. Oh, there we go. I was uh, looking a little high. A little low, sorry. But there they are. All right, there's our F-16 group. Flying form. They are in. Okay, so just one more time. Let's restart the mission. So left shift and R will restart the mission. We'll zoom out a bit so I can actually show you that it did actually work because... Uh... All right, so we zoomed out now. <laughs> Let's try this again. Speed up time a bit. All right, so watching and as soon as it goes into the... There we go, bam. Units have spawned in. So as soon as that uh, blue coalition went into that trigger zone, it activated that group. And you can do that for anything. You can late activate. So it just saves you if you want, um, for example, if you want to spawn a tanker in, uh, when you get to a certain point along your waypoint, rather than having a tanker just flying around, wasting fuel and potentially going bingo and uh, RTBing, you don't have a tanker support anymore, you can set a trigger up to spawn in a tanker when you hit the trigger zone just makes your missions a little bit more uh gives you a little bit more options for um making it a bit more dynamic and fun for all your mates Alrighty, boys hope you enjoyed if you did make sure that you hit the like button to say that you appreciate the work <laughs> you don't have to though fucking i don't care but it does help it does help all jokes aside uh, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel on youtube helps me out legit does help and if you haven't as well come in and check me out on twitch i stream monday to friday at 1300 australian western standard time come on in say good day hang out with the boys and yeah just get amongst it righto fuckers catches on the next one